Hey everybody, Amy with AJ's Vintage Designs here with another heat press video. Now you saw my last video where I did the heat press and I made my shirt and I'm loving the heat press machine, but today I'm gonna be taking advantage of the hat press. Now with the heat press, if you wanna see using transfer paper um, and with my inkjet, I have it on the previous video. You can check out the, the Weber video right before this one. But today I'm gonna do something different. You know, if you know me, you know I wear hats almost every day because I'm a painter. And now I get to customize my hat with, I'm putting patches on them. And so um, I'll have another video in regards to the patches that I buy. But today I wanna focus on how I get the patches on the hats, how easy it is, and I'm loving this machine. Now I don't have an affiliate link or anything with these machines. I am, they, they sent it to me and they asked for my honest opinion about them. And so far I'm having, I'm having so much fun with that. I have to thank them for sending these to me because I literally am having fun and they are so easy to use. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be turning on the machine and setting it for 320 degrees because to put my, I've been experimenting, the patches take, it's about 320 in about 20 seconds is what we have to do. So I'm gonna bring you into the machine right now. You're gonna see a close up on how I do this and how quick and easy it is. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this on and then I'm gonna set it for temperature, I'm Fahrenheit, 320 degrees. Time, I know it's gonna be 20 seconds, set it for 20 seconds. And now it's gonna preheat for me. While it's preheating, I'm gonna go ahead and get this ready. If your hat comes with one of those cardboards inside, take that out. Next, pull this little brim, this little sweatband, pull that forwards so it doesn't leave a crease on the inside. And this is the shoe that you're gonna be putting on. It has a little lever here. This is gonna, what's gonna hold it down tight. So be careful, this can be hot. You can use the heat gloves. I got mine off Amazon, but you can use a heat glove if you're nervous about burning your hands or anything. So I'm gonna slide this on while it's preheating. Get it on this little stand, making sure my seam of my hat is right there in the center. The back of my hat is gonna fit on this little lever. So I'm gonna put that lever up, put the back of my hat on it. So it's gonna pull it tight, make sure it's straight. Now I have my hat too far down below. See that little ridge I have right here? So I'm gonna adjust it. Put this in up, upwards position so I can adjust it a little bit. Okay, there we go. I wanna make sure it lays nice and flat. If yours doesn't lay flat, you can put a little padding behind it. Um, you know, I don't know if you, maybe a towel or something. I haven't tried it. Like I said, I'm new to this. So I'm just gonna get it as flat as I can. Take a lint brush to this if you have any hair or debris or dust on your hat. You don't want that underneath there. Preventing your, um, I'm using embroidered patches. But if you, even if you put a transfer paper on here that has an image of your logo, you don't want that stuck behind either. So I'm gonna be centering this, my logo, centering it right on there. And sometimes it's hard, You're, that might move a little bit. So I did purchase some thermal tape. Okay, so some thermal tape. Get a long little sheet of this, just to help me hold it in place. So I'm just gonna put it right across the top, just so it doesn't move and I keep it centered. Okay, so I have a little thermal tape on there just to hold it in place. Now, personally, I like to use, this is a little Teflon sheet I got off Amazon as well. I'm gonna put this over it as well. Okay. And just to kind of protect my hat a little bit. Now, this is, it's already heated up. Now, I'm gonna set this down. I'm not gonna lock it into place. I wanna make sure that my patch, okay, my patch, part of my patch is sticking out the bottom. So I need to scoot this up just a little bit. You need to make sure that your patch is completely under the, the press. Okay, so I'm gonna pull it up just a little bit. Okay, just a little bit, there we go. Not much, I just had a little bit of my patch. I have a big patch, so a little bit of it was sneaking out. So now let's set this back down. And I'm gonna lay down this press. And there we go. It's gonna automatically count down for me, 15 seconds, 14. It's gonna count down, it's gonna beep and let me know when it's done. Like I said, the embroider patches that have the adhesive on the back, I'm, I'm doing them at 320 degrees for 20 seconds. Got three seconds left. Beeps, it, it lets me know. 
So I open it up. Be careful, this stuff is gonna be hot. I'm gonna release my hat rim. See how easy that is? And I'm gonna let this cool just a little bit before I touch it. And thermal heat doesn't affect it. There we go, I now have my custom hat. Um, so, but you can play around with the temperatures. Like I said, I did, um, I was playing around and I just kind of figured that um, 120 degrees at 20 seconds worked. Um, maybe you can go a little bit less, uh, but this is just so far what's worked for me. So now I have a customized hat. But what if I want to do like a patch? I've shown, I've shown you my shirts with the transfers. So let me show you a patch on a shirt using the other press. But look at how easy this was. You're just sliding your hat on here. You got your little lever that holds it tight. You make sure that when you set down your press that your image is underneath the press. You don't want part of your image out here. So just make sure it's all lined up and it's ready to go. Always make sure when you're done using it, turn it off. Okay, so I've turned that off and now we're gonna go over to the shirt press. Once again, I'm gonna turn this on. Now I haven't done the patch with this yet. Um, and I, I need to take a lint brush to this. I have dogs, so you always wanna take a lint brush to everything. But um, I've never done the patches so far on clothing, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. I am going to set the temperature and I'm gonna set my temperature Fahrenheit. I'm gonna set it to 320 degrees and my time once again for 20 seconds. Uh, so it's heating up right now. As soon as it heats up, we'll get ready to go. But while we're waiting, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my shirt in here. Okay, so I'm waiting. I'm, I just want my patch on the breast of the shirt. I already have an embroidered logo, but I wanna add my patch on with it. So it's heating up. If you're nervous about it, wear the gloves. Like I said, uh, heat resistant gloves. Um, you can get them anywhere on Amazon, but this machine is so easy to use. I love this machine. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure it's nice and flat. No dog hair where my, where my uh, patch is gonna go. And I'm gonna lay the patch down Kind of eyeball where I want it. I want it centered right there. Now I'm not gonna really need to use the tape on this because I'm not on a, a curved surface, so my, my, my patch isn't gonna move. But I've already showed you with the transfer paper. Now I'm gonna show you with the patches. And this thing is just so versatile. I mean, like I said, it's not just for clothing. You can do this for pillowcases, um, aprons, pretty much anything that you wanna put an image on, you can do it. Okay, so let's go ahead. It's heating up. Once it gets to 320 degrees, we're gonna go ahead and shut it. I'm gonna put my Teflon sheet in here. That's just to protect so I don't get any like glue or any image up on my plates where I'd have to worry about cleaning my plates. So this is to protect my plates. So I have that laid down here. Once it hits 320 degrees, we're gonna start pressing. Okay, so there we go. Customize my hat with my business logo and I can customize my shirt. Look at that. Oh, like I said, you can do like the transfer sheets, uh, heat press transfers uh, to get an image on there. You can get embroidered patches from companies, but then you bring that to, to your home, to your Vever heat press or Vever hat press, either one, and you can customize your stuff. Great for holidays. Great if you are a business owner. I mean, I can customize everything I wear. My logo is gonna be out there in front of everyone anytime I go out of the house. So, and it's so quick and easy, and these are very affordable. Like I said, I don't have an affiliate link for these. They sent it to me, wanted my honest opinion. I've never used a heat press before. I was a little nervous. I said, sure, I'd love to try them out. And now I'm kind of hooked. So now I'm kind of like going online and finding stuff that I can put on clothing and I can use my heat press for. 
Um, I'm also picturing doing home decor, big you know, images of sunflowers, heat pressed right onto my pillowcases. Uh, customizing pillowcases with everybody's names on them is a way to cutely decorate a bedroom. So many get different gift ideas. Family photos for family reunions on shirts. I mean, so many possibilities. Graduations, parties, birthdays. I mean, it's limitless. So I have to thank Bever for sending these to me because uh, I would have never tried a heat press if they wouldn't have reached out and contacted me. And now I can see this doing this as a side business, a little side hustle. So these are easy to use. Um, I literally watched one video or two videos before I actually opened the box and got these out. I would have unboxed them with you, but um, they're heavy and I can't lift, uh, you know, I have limitations to how much I can lift. So I didn't have to have uh, my husband take them out of the boxes for me because they were so well packed. <laughs> but um, absolutely loving it. I'm going to go and now do hats in every color. So I'm going to keep working on this. If you have any questions, just reach out to me. Um, I'll have information down below, but like I said, they're not affiliate, affiliate links. So I'm giving you my honest review and, and not getting paid for this. All I did is I received the machines and they asked me to give an honest review. So I'm giving an honest review. These things are easy and I'm loving them. Okay, well, this is Amy with AJ's Vintage Designs. Until next time, I hope you have a great day.